guys, I am back. I'm not going to just call this a little quarantine vlog going on here. I know I haven't done many videos, just one to be exact, but it was kind of fun. So, here we go again. I am going to be doing, putting on makeup because I need it. And then I think I'm going to touch up the cabinets that I painted and maybe even paint the bedroom. Okay, now that the makeup's on, I might just tackle the hair. I am actually going to turn this little ponytail right here, if you can see it, into a cute decent ponytail. Oh, and those are my cousins back there. They're attacking each other. So, anyhow, this is uh, the process I'm going to go through to get those extensions in. Here's that. See, sweetheart. Hi. And then my other little sidekick is Cecil. They're brother and sister. And they are probably going to be making a little fuss in the background. So I apologize for that. Okay. Here's the process I go through from turning this into a nice finished look. So I'm going to take this down. This hair is freshly washed last night. Let it dry naturally, which I don't really hardly ever do because, well, this. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is take a little Kinrat Perfect Medium Spray. Start spraying underneath because I've got to give it some body and some hold. You really want hold to make a full ponytail out of this and for the clip ends to stay in. My hair is baby fine, so everything just straight up. So that's that. I'm going to give it just a minute to dry and then I'm actually going to use a curling iron and put just a little curl on the end so it's not just so ragged and natural. Just like that. Turning the barrel towards the back when I curl. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is all going into the ponytail, but we want it to blend with the clip-in extensions. And these are Glam Seamless extensions. Really nice quality, very thick all the way to the end. Uh, double drawn hair, so it, it retains the thickness to the end. doesn't get thinner. Um, and I have cut them, and these have been used probably for a year. That's pretty good. So we're gonna do the other side of my hair curling. Take it back. That goes a little crazy, so we're going to redo that one. This is just going to give it some body once we have the ponytail going on. Like back. Okay, so I have curled it, I've just done like this with it, and now I'm going to go through and put a little tease in it. Um, I'm going to take it, this is just my wet brush, just doing this. I'm going to give it some body. Now I'm actually going to separate out, or you could do this before you tease it too if you want, if it's easier. Separate out the bottom portion here and get it out of the way. Then I'm going to take this here, this bottom portion, tease it. This is where I'm going to put in the clip in. Give it a little spray too if you want. Give it a little extra hold. And I'm going to take the shorter, shorter, these are the three clips. 
So this is on the bottom where I have a narrower across. I'm going to open up these clips. I'm going to find some of that teasing, stick it in. The teasing just helps keep it in place. And there you go. I've got some clippings going on. So I'm going to take that down, pull up another section, and again, we could tease after the sectioning. It really doesn't matter. Because you do tease a little more before you put the clippings in. Here, teasing. Here's just to give some body. You might hear a German Shepherd barking in the background. But we'll just ignore that. So this is my four clip section open. I'm going to take those and I'm starting low on the crown of the head. I'm going to put my two middle ones, kind of center them on the back of my head. Push those in, push those in, and clip. Then the two sides, push them like this, push them like this. That's done. I'm going to take down this top section. Actually, I'm going to add a little piece here. I do love this Wow, the Style on Steroid Spray, Color Wow. Has a lot of body. Pretty powerful. A lot of body for this front section just to give the illusion of more hair. So, now that's done. Now, remember we've already teased the top of it, so because you want that poofiness there. You might have to play around with it. You can put a part in it if you want. Um, and then take some of the back out like that. Then just kind of pat it down. See how it goes there. Now I'm putting the ponytail in, just gathering up all that hair. And then she might decide to take it down and curl the extensions to get them to blend. They've been in the Ziploc bag for a week, month, so that sometimes makes a difference. So I'm going to take these with my curling iron and curl those as well. Okay. So I finished curling the extensions, went in and put them back in the ponytail. Here's the finished look. Not too bad, not perfect, but it gets me through a busy day at the salon if I haven't had a ton of time to do my hair in the morning. This goes up pretty quickly. Um, and honestly, the second day after doing this, it goes up even more quickly because the teasing might already still be there. So. Anyway, I'm going to go off and start my busy day of uh, touching up the cabinet that I painted already and maybe painting the bedroom. I already got my painting shirt on, so good to go there. And that's it. Y'all have a good one. Bye.